section 3.6 is about proofs concerning perpendicular lines. In this section, we'll be using the knowledge that we've gained regarding parallel and perpendicular lines to prove more theorems. There aren't strictly any videos that you need to watch for this section. Just make sure that you understand all the material from sections 3.1 through 3.5, so all the sections we've already covered. Um, we will be working out the proofs in class, but if you need to see them again, then I'll go through them in the rest of this video and in the following videos, so that you can go back and review these at your leisure or as many times as you need to. Let's look at the first theorem. Theorem 3.8 tells us that if two lines intersect to form a linear pair of congruent angles, okay, so we have lines L and M which intersect, 1 and 2 are a linear pair of angles here, and the proof is saying that they are congruent. We then need to show that L and M have to be perpendicular. So given that angle 1 is congruent to angle 2, we want to prove L is perpendicular to M. We can set this up as a two-column proof, or we can do a paragraph proof proof, and I'll show you what that looks like next. So first we know angle 1 is congruent to angle 2, and that's a given. We also know that angle 1 and angle 2 are a linear pair and that's given by the drawing. So then, we know that the measure of angle 1 plus the measure of angle 2 equals 180 degrees. And that's definition of a linear pair, or the linear pair postulate. We also know that measure of angle 1 equals the measure of angle 2, since the angles are congruent, and that is the definition of congruent angles. We can then substitute in the measure of angle 1 for the measure of angle 2 up here, giving us the measure of angle 1 plus the measure of angle 1 equals 180 degrees. and that is by substitution. Then 2 times the measure of angle 1 equals 90 degrees because we simplified. So the measure of angle 1 equals 90 degrees. By division, now let's take a moment and think about this. If 1 is a, actually a right angle. That means that lines L and M must be perpendicular. So we find that L is perpendicular to M, and that is the definition of perpendicular lines. And that's our proof. If you would prefer, you can write a what's called a paragraph proof. And I'll do that below here. Paragraph proof would look something like this. We st it says all the same stuff, but it says it in a paragraph. So it would say that 1 is congruent to 2, which is a given. Then measure of angle 1 plus measure of angle 2 equals 180 degrees because the angles are a linear pair, and so measure of angle 1 equals 90 degrees. If measure of angle 1 equals 90 degrees, then it must be that L is perpendicular to M.